Hello students, this is Miss Dalton and this video is on converting quadratic forms. Let's first look at converting from standard form to intercept form. So recognize that standard form is when it is in the, in the format y equals ax squared plus bx plus c and then intercept form will look like this. So we have this first example y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 48. And so what I want you to realize is that when you're going from standard to insert form, intercept form, you will always need to factor. So you can use any of those methods that we talked about with factoring. And so let's go ahead and get started with this example. So the first thing that I recognize when I'm looking at this quadratic is that it has a GCF of 2. So I'm going to first factor out the 2. So y equals 2, parentheses. When I divide the first term by 2, I get x squared. When I divide the second term by 2, I get plus 2x. And when I divide that last term by 2, I get minus 24. Okay, then your next step is, step is to make your AC chart. So get a different color. So I'm going to do the a term of 1 times the c term negative 24. So my ac chart is going to be made up of the factors of negative 24. Okay, so start at the beginning, negative 1 times 24. Then we have negative 2 times 12. Then we have negative 3 times 8. And then we have negative 4 times 6. And then, of course, we have the opposites when you uh, switch the negative to the other side. Okay, so the, we were, are looking for the ones that will add up to a positive 2. And so this pair, when I add those up, I do get a positive 2. So those are what I'm going to use. So I'm going to now split this middle term. I will go ahead and bring down what I have. So I'll have y equals 2, then I'm going to go ahead and switch to a bracket. So then we will have x squared, and then when I split that, I will have minus 4x and plus 6x, and then minus 24. Okay, so grouping, you'll group your first two together, and then you'll group your last two together. Again, I'm just bringing down the outside all the way down. So y equals 2. Now I'm going to look for a GCF in the first parenthesis. I can divide out an x, and then I'll be left with x minus 4. And over here, I can divide out a 6. So I'm going to bring out the 6, and I will be left with x minus 4. So notice that the parentheses match. I will bring down the y equals 2, and my first set of factors is the matching parentheses, and my last factor is what is on the outside, which is x plus 6. Okay, and so now I have converted it into intercept form. You should be able to tell real quick and easy what your intercepts are, what your x-intercepts are from this format. Okay, the next type is going from standard form to vertex form. And so uh, what you're going to have to do here is you are going to have to complete the square. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. So completing the square, the first thing that you'd want to do is you want to add the c over to the other side, so plus 5 plus 5, so then you'll have y plus 5 equals 2x squared plus 4x. Okay, then notice that your a is not 1, so I do need to divide that out, so I'll have y plus 5 equals 2 parentheses x squared plus 2x, and I'm going to leave a space and close my parentheses. In this space, you will take half of that b term, so take 2 and divide it by 2, 
and then square it. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so I'm going to add in a 1 here. But remember, on that right side, I'm really adding a 2 times 1, which is 2, so I'm going to need to add that to the other side as well. So then I will have y plus 7 equals 2, and then this factors with the perfect square pattern, which would be x plus 1 quantity squared. And then last but not least, subtract the 7 over to the other side, and now we have our vertex form, y equals 2 times x plus 1 quantity squared minus 7. So this makes it real easy to figure out what our vertex is, uh, whether it has been stretched or compressed, and the transformations that are occurring. Okay, our last type is what, if you're going from vertex or intercept form, and you're going to convert that into standard form. And so for both of these types, you will just need to multiply and simplify it into standard form. So let's look at this first one. So y equals 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 3. This is in intercept form, so we're going to go ahead and multiply. Now, I tend to multiply the factors together first, so the parentheses. So I'm going to do x times x. I'm just going to bring down the y equals 2 as I'm doing this. x times x is x squared. Then you'll do x times a negative 3, which would be a negative 3x or minus 3x. Then you would take your 4 and distribute it through, so positive 4x. Sorry if you're hearing my dogs barking. And then 4 times negative 3 would be that minus 12. Go ahead and simplify further by collecting like terms. So y equals 2 times x squared plus x minus 12. And now, last but not least, distribute the 2. So this would be y equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 24. And there you go. Now it is in standard form. All right, so let's look at the second example. Oops. Second example is in vertex form. So we have y equals 3 times x minus 2 quantity squared plus 4. So we are going to first write down the x minus 2, we're going to write that down twice because anytime you have a quantity squared, that just means you need to multiply it times itself twice. And so we're going to start here. We are going to multiply the parentheses. So we will have y equals 3 parentheses. x times x is x squared. Then we have x times negative 2 would be negative 2x. Then we have negative 2x again. And then we have negative 2 times negative 2, which is a positive 4. And then don't forget to bring down this last piece. Put that on the outside of the parentheses. Okay, let's go ahead and combine our like terms. So we have y equals 3 parenthesis x squared minus 4x plus 4 and then plus 4 on the outside. Distribute the 3. y equals 3x squared. Then you would have a minus 12x and then you would have a plus 12 and then I would want to add the 4 on to the end and then now collect your like terms there at the end. So you have y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 16. Okay, and there you have it. It is in standard form. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, make sure your notes are filled out and come to class with your questions ready so I can help you in class.